hey guys welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash look at this mega PR box that I just received from Wet n Wild over the weekend. This is their new Marilyn Monroe collection. I've already taken everything out, but I just wanted to show you this top part. Imperfection is beauty. And then of course you have the gorgeous Marilyn Monroe there. I love this box. I love the floral background that is just so much fun i've taken everything out already and we have pretty much a full face in here um, to create some amazing looks there is one thing that i want to apply on camera right now and it is this bullet lip gloss or not lip gloss it's a lip balm so mm, there's a perfume flavor to this like it's a legit perfume flavor and it smells like, actually it smells like roses. That's exactly what it smells like. I can do with the scent, mm, not so much the taste. But in this collection, you also get a red bullet lipstick. You get a nude eyeshadow palette, which we'll be creating a look today. I love that they're giving us a red liquid lipstick, but then they're also giving us, where is it? They're giving us a red lip liner, here it goes right here oh no i dropped it let me pick it up so they're giving us these two lippy products which you have to use them together anytime you're gonna use a red lipstick i definitely recommend a red lip liner we're getting a big pop of mascara we're getting these really cute little powder puffs that have bows on them because there are two different types of powders in this collection. Uh, we're getting a clear brow gel, which could also double as a clear mascara. We're also getting this beautiful brush. You can use this for uh, blush or bronzer. I'll be using this for blush today because there are or there is one beautiful blush in this collection along with two different highlighters. You guys know Wet n Wild highlighters are one of my faves. Look at this beautiful like faux velvet headband. Perfect for the holiday season. I am so glad we're getting this powder because mine just broke a couple weeks ago. This is their Bare Focus Clarifying Finishing Powder. I'm going to use this to actually set my T-zone because I've already set my under eye area. Well, actually, I set this one with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus, and I did not set this under eye area because I'm in the process of re reviewing this new Revlon concealer. I'm not too sure which video you're going to see go up first, but this is a new Revlon color stay. Flex Wear Full Coverage Concealer. So if you're interested in this, I got it from Amazon. Be on the lookout for a video. This one might go up first, or this Wet n Wild video might go up first. Not entirely sure. Uh, we're also getting a couple eyeliners in here. There's a white one. There's a black one. Uh, we're also getting a small little uh, packing packing brush for eyeshadow. Um, and we're getting this, which I'm really excited about. This is their um, Translucent Luminous Setting Powder. So for me, this is going to be more of a finishing powder. And I'm going to use this other one that I just showed you as a setting powder. So hoping all of that works out well. Um, oh, there's another eyeliner. There's a brown eyeliner. So you get a black, a brown and a white eyeliner, lip liner, lip lipsticks. You get pretty much everything. I'm just really excited about this headband. So before you ask, where can I find this stuff stuff? I, I got this in PR. I've used, I usually receive PR and I'm so glad they send the box sets over from Wet n Wild. There's still th things from the brand that I do purchase myself, like I purchased the Holiday Foxtrot collection myself online from Ulta Beauty. Some of you have been asking me about that. That is where I picked it up. This collection, however, was sent to me in PR, but it is available, the full box set for $80 on the Wet n Wild Beauty website, as, long as, uh, as well as with all the individual products. Now, one of you also mentioned when I posted this over my Instagram that you have seen it at your local HEB. If you live here in Texas, HEB is our local chain of gro grocery stores. So be on the lookout for it because if it's not at Walmart yet, which I would imagine it'd probably be there very soon, it's going to go because this is a holiday collection. So just be on the lookout for it. But I'm going to have it linked directly to 
uh, wet and wild in my description box. If it is your first time here on my channel, I just want to say hello and welcome to all of you. My name is Steph and I love trying out new makeup. I love indie makeup, drugstore makeup, high-end makeup, you name it. I try it here. We do multiple looks with eyeshadow palettes, makeup ranking videos, get ready with me. If that sounds great to you, I want to invite you to become part of our makeup family. Do me a favor, click on that subscribe button and hit the bell next to it. That way you can be notified every time I do drop a new video. And if you're a fan of Wet n Wild, a big of a fan of Wet n Wild as I am, or maybe you're just into collecting Marilyn Monroe memorabilia, which there are a lot of Marilyn Monroe collections that come out, please give this video a thumbs up before you go. As usual, I will have, I will have everything that I'm wearing linked and listed in the description box, which today we're full face of drugstore makeup. Um, some of those links might be affiliate links. So if you do end up shopping through them, I thank you so, so much for supporting me and my channel. Let's dive on into this Marilyn Monroe Wet n Wild collection. If you guys wanna see how these beauties are gonna perform, keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is go in with the Bare Focus Clarifying Finishing Powder. Now, normally I would use, um, since it's a pressed, I think I would rather use a brush, but I'm going to use one of these cute little sponges to pick it up and start applying to my T-zone. I am a normal to oily skin type, and my nose is always the oiliest place on my face. And I'm going to be having this full face of makeup on for like at least 12 hours, getting ready for work this morning. And then right after work, I have to go get my nails done. So that is like a three hour process. So it's gonna be a while before I get home. Not powdering this under eye area. I've already powdered this under eye area with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Loose Setting Powder. Okay, I think that looks good. I think it did a good job of just controlling the shine I was already getting. And I'm using the Wet n Wild, where is it? One of my OG faves, Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator today for foundation. Now I do have a couple Wet n Wild bronzers. I ordered a new one, one of their Icon bronzers, and it came completely broken, and I just haven't gotten the replacement. So I'm gonna go in with this one from Revlon. This is their Skin Lights bronzer. This one is in the shade 115 Sunkiss Bean. And I'm gonna use this old Wet n Wild brush that I have from the Care Bears collection. I'm gonna use this side and I'm just gonna start focusing. Actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna use this other side. Let's get the jo job done a little bit quicker. I mainly just keep my bronzer to my forehead and then I'll bring a little bit down on my nose. All right, so nothing too intense with the bronzer. I'm gonna take the opposite side and just go down on my nose here. All right, now we're gonna use the new angled brush and I'm gonna use that for the, where is it? The only blush that is in this collection or at least that came in the PR box. Sometimes there are other items that they don't include in the PR box, but this you can see is definitely gonna be a glowy blush. This is in the shade Rose or ro yeah, Rose. Pick some up, Let's start applying. Ooh, that's a pretty shade. This is like a very warm toned rose shade. And you can see that it does have, does have some glow to it. So if you like that, this might not be the blush for you, but I don't mind a glowy blush at all. I love this shade. Ooh, you almost don't need highlighter. So feel free to skip the highlighter. We are not today because we have two highlighters that we need to try, but oh my God. Oh, I love it. I love such a glowy cheek. And don't think we're done with the glow when we finish with the highlighters. These are the two highlighters. So we have one that's kind of like a pinky peach and one that's more golden. I'm gonna go in with the golden one over here on the right side. And I'm gonna take this on my Lunar Beauty what number is this? The number four brush. Oh yeah, look at that. Wet and Wild 
always delivers with their highlighters and they're like four or five bucks. Guys, do not sleep on Wet n Wild highlighters. This packaging feels a little bit better than the square highlighter packaging that it typically comes in. Obviously, this is a Marilyn Monroe collection, so maybe that is why. But, oh, Wet n Wild highlighters. Look at that. Just like a wet look using the blush brush just to go over everything. All right, now we're going to go into this next blush. Am I telling you the names? This is Peachy Pink and this other golden one over here. The golden one is called Cool Champagne. Oh my God, look, it's a wet look. You do not need to spend a lot of money on highlighters. Wet n Wild will always give you such a smooth, impactful, glowy highlighter without a bunch of texture. Like this is just beautiful. Oh, that's why they've always been, always, always, always Wet n Wild highlighters, a staple in my stash because they are so good. So, so good. I don't know how we're gonna have room for the finishing powder, to be honest, guys. And this is the finishing powder right here. It does come with a makeup puff. I will never apply a foundation, not a foundation, but a finishing powder with a powder puff um, just because I want a more diffused look from it. And so for me, a large fluffy brush is going to be best for this type of product. All right, so I'm going to go in with one of these older Wet n Wild brushes that I have. This is what the finishing powder looks like. You want to be careful with this because this is going to add a glow, especially because it's a luminous. And you'll see I'm kind of keeping it to the perimeter, like where I place the bronzer. And I'm just going to tap it over the blush. Just bring it down a little bit, but I'm avoiding my nose. And I am going to touch up the blush again right now. I will say that that sticker that covers the little holes was a nightmare to remove. So let me go back in with a little bit of blush. Every time I use a finishing powder, I always have to add back some of the blush just because I feel it kind of um, takes away from the pigment, but oh my God, my skin is glowing. I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. All right, guys, I'm going to pop off camera to take care of the brows and I'm going to come back and we're going to start playing with that little eyeshadow palette. I believe it's a five pan palette. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, I've already primed my eyelids with the Profusion Primer. Now, where is, here it is. Now we're going to dive into this little eyeshadow palette. This is, yes, a five pan palette. Very reminiscent of Natasha Denona Mini Nude. So I see we're getting a full on sparkly shade here, full on shimmer. These two look like they're perhaps satin shades, more traditional shimmer with the white. And you can see a little bit of satin there. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm going to start with this shade. And I'll find a place for this satin, but I want to use these two to darken up the uh, crease and also the outer corner. I'm using my Blend Bunny B5 brush. I accidentally right now dipped into the, the satin shade, which I guess it doesn't make a big deal. Now with that same brush, I'm going to go into this deeper shade for the outer corner. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this shade next. I'm using my damp Morphe M124. And I pick it up first and then I just spray it with a little Mac Fix Plus. I am feeling a little bit of fallout from this one. Ooh, but that is so pretty. That is a nice shimmer. Now for the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with this satin shade. And I'm using a BK210. Please ignore the noise. They just started my yard, making it look nice and pretty. 
and add a little bit of the darker brown right in here. Popping this lighter shade right here in the inner corner, and with that, I've used everything in the palette. All right, guys, I'm going to finish this look off camera. I will be right back to show you guys the completed look, and I'm also going to apply the liquid lipstick along with the lip liner. All right, guys, so here is the completed look with the Wet n Wild and Marilyn Monroe collection. I love the way everything turned out. I was able to use almost everything that came in this collection. The only thing I didn't get to use was the dual-sided eyeliner, and it looks like it's black and black on each side and it is their like wet and wild breakup proof liquid liner so i love that i use these every single day um for the top waterline i tight line with the retractable brown eyeliner big papa mascara and for the lower waterline the retractable white eyeliner so I love it. I'm using the liquid lipstick and the lip liner. I only didn't get to use, I forgot to use this little blending brush or like little packing brush. I don't think I really had, would have had much use for it um, since I didn't pack anything on the crease. I do want to mention that I went through my brows with the clear brow gel. Um, what else? Obviously, I didn't use all of the powder puffs, but I used this one, and I think they're so cute with the red ribbons on them. Loving the lip balm. Just wish it didn't taste like rose. I don't mind if it smells like rose, but tasting like rose, mm, I don't know. The blushes and highlighters. Where's the other one? I think these are definitely some of the standouts of this PR box. I love the blush brush right here. Love the handle on it. Um, what else? What else? What else? I just think, oh, the finishing powder. If you want to glow, then this is going to be the finishing powder for you, but I would stay clear of your nose. I love this one over here. This is the Bare Focus Clarifying Finishing Powder. This is going to give you more of a matte finish, and it's perfect for me in my t-zone overall guys i think wet n wild did a fantastic job with this marilyn monroe collection loving this headband you're gonna see this headband in the thumbnail which i'm sure you've seen already but i think they did a beautiful job thank you so much to the wet n wild team for sending me, me uh this beautiful pr box and i always love trying good affordable makeup Wet n Wild is definitely one of my favorite at the drugstore. Let me know what you thought about this collection. Let me know if you plan on picking anything up. Right now it is available online at Wet n Wild. The PR box is available for $80 as well as some of the items individually, which there might be other items in this collection that weren't included in this PR box. So maybe um, you'll feel like picking up some of those. And those of you here in Texas, please check your local HEB because I was told they had this in stores let me know your thoughts now guys sound off in the comments down below i want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos y'all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at stay hydrated drink that water and i'm going to see you all very soon bye